I hate fashion. <laughs> I appreciate that. I, I can't do this interview right now. I'm sorry. We're having a, a major crisis. Where's Chad? Panic attack. Go, go, go! This is the dog's outfit, just so you know. He's a character. I spend my life chasing you. Rare. He's cranky, hello. We're sort of yin and yang, so somewhere in all the craziness, I guess there's a balance. Ow. Where did he go? What? I like fire crunch. Yes. Yeah. Rose Richie's the social butterfly and goes out and meets people. Ow. If anything, Trevor's a little bit of a recluse. You know, he grew up on a ranch in the middle of Montana. Didn't even know who, you know, Whitney Houston was until he moved to New York City. You're gonna film me saying this, then it's not a good thing, but because he's had to give in. Not the read again. No. I said no. Firm no. If that guy, that guy is gonna come talk to the pretty one, firm no. It's not just with Jim Trevor, it's a whole team thing. Very much a, a team. You know, we get a lot of flack for the stunts that we pull and the unorthodox way that we do things, treating it like sort of more of a rock band or something than in fashion. We fight like a family, we argue like a family, we love each other like a family. We don't get along like a family, like, it's a mess, but it's like a good mess. Zero five. Ready! Who can't get in? Your boyfriend. Travis Barker, he's like a singer. He's my oh friend. shit. I'll go with you, come on. At the last minute, a friend of Paris says that we went to school. We were not expecting to arrive. Where is he? He's at the VIP. Ended up showing up. Come on. No, I'll go. Come on, come on. Paris will go. I'll go, I'll go. Come on. The fire marshal had closed the door, so we weren't allowed to let anybody in or out. We'll get him, girl, don't worry. So Paris was like, Richie, you go out and get him. Go out, all the way right here. I'll hide in here. So what? They're, they're saying they're waiting on Travis Parker. Travis! 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 Paris, we're getting him, don't worry. You guys, dancers, are you ready? Yeah. Okay. I'm with Paris, we're getting Travis Barker, and then we'll be in. We'll start the show in two minutes. Paris won't start until we get him in, so. Well, two minutes, just stall them, one more minute, one more minute, one more minute. The show is gonna get canceled. The people on 7th and 6th of the 10th are putting all the pressure on us, but like, to start the show. Got no. to start the show. Where'd she go? Or drop her, I don't care. Oh no, we just have to start. Oh God. Paris, that can do it, girl, break a leg. So today, like, I didn't even think about it, and my mother shows me the post, and the post is like, we're fashion history in the making, and we're hugely wearable, and we're gonna have a hugely successful year, and they never say that stuff, and I was just like, well, that's cool. But it was funny, because like, I think people love to make you like, I don't know, acceptable, and then the minute you're acceptable, you're not acceptable, and we've never been acceptable, so I don't really care. <laughs> you know, our review this morning in the New York Post said, that they were witnessing history in the making, so we can only hope that that's true. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, we somehow came out of all of this being best friends, and if anything, the dynamic up here is that Richie and Trevor are the parents, and we're sort of like the, the children. <laughs> the thing about Heather Red is that I love is her family, like Amy and Mackie and Lisey, like they just keep that's all like Trevor and I together. And it's kind of like that science project that just never ended. <laughs> it just, you know, it's it's like, well, we all talked about this in school and now we're really doing it. It's cool. Now I think we kind of have an understanding that we're freaks, but we know what we're doing. I have like 10 parties to go do, so I'm gonna go home and get ready and just go fuck yourselves. I love you. <laughs>